Now welcome everybody to this latest A2 video on trigonometry and in this video we'll be continuing with harmonic form with a focus on finding maximum and minimum values. Now a bit of warning, the sound quality of this video is not great, very echoey and does feel like as if you're being taught by a Dalek. Now often you may get asked what the maximum and or minimum value of an expression in harmonic form can be and the value of theta for which the maximum or minimum value exists. Now if we take a closer look at an expression that is in harmonic form, so for example it's either going to look like this or like this. Now in terms of knowledge that we know from both the cos graph, which looks like this, and the sine graph, which looks like this, then we can see that the maximum value this cos theta uh, plus or minus alpha can be is going to be plus 1. So the max that this can be is going to be equal to 1 and the minimum this can be is going to be equal to minus 1 and similarly for the sine theta that the maximum this part can be is equal to positive 1 and the minimum it can be is minus 1 so therefore the maximum value that an expression of let's say in harmonic form related to cos is going to be so the maximum value is going to be positive r and the minimum value is therefore going to be minus r and again the reason for that is because if we look at those highlighted parts so this the maximum that can be is plus one the minimum it can be is minus one so therefore the maximum value of the expression is going to be positive r the minimum value is going to be minus r and the same thing goes for sine so again the maximum the sine theta plus alpha can be is positive one so therefore the maximum value of the expression is going to be positive r and the minimum value that uh, the expression could take is going to be minus r because technically we are then going to be multiplying it by minus one so to find the value of theta for which the maximum value uh, can take or the minimum value can take is to make the cos theta plus or minus alpha equal to 1 or the sine alpha plus or minus 1 equal to 1 where alpha has already been worked out in the prior example so here we're going to have a number instead of alpha and so all we need to do is to find for what value of theta that value exists for is just make this whole bit equal to 1 or if we're working with sine to make this all equal to 1 and then go on to solve it like we've done when we looked at solving trig equations in AS. And similarly for when to find values of theta where that gives us the minimum value then all we need to do is substitute our, our alpha value in and then solve this if we're working with cos or we solve this when we're working with sine. So R has no relevance at all to finding out what the theta value is for our maximum value. So let's have a look at this first example. So this question is split up into two parts and is making it quite explicit that we're going to have to use harmonic form simply because it's giving me my R sine theta minus alpha. So in terms of the first thing, it's asking us that we've got express the function R in respect to theta equals 2 sine theta minus 3 cos theta in the form of R sine theta minus alpha, where alpha is an acute angle. So let's go about doing this one first. So in terms of A, I've got 2 sine theta minus 3 cos theta and that's going to be equal to R sine theta minus alpha. Now from this what I then want to do is I want to expand using my compound angle formula what this is and this is going to be equal to R sine theta cos alpha uh, minus because it's always the same as whatever sine is in the bracket of r cos theta sine alpha. Now in terms of co comparing the coefficients that what I end up with is that 2 equals r cos alpha and 3 equals r sine alpha. Now again we don't need to worry about the signs because here our r is already negative so that's going to be negative so that's why we don't need to worry about the, it being, ever being minus 3. So from this I can then work out that tan theta, so tan alpha is going to be equal to 3 over 2 and therefore giving me an alpha value of 56.3 to 1 decimal place. Now from this I then need to work out what r is. So r squared is basically going to be the coefficient of sine theta and cos theta squared so it's going to be 2 squared plus 3 squared 
So r squared is going to equal 13, so r equals the square root of 13. So writing this in harmonic form, my final answer is going to be root 13, and it's going to be sine 50, no it's not, it's going to be theta, minus 56.3. So there I've written it in harmonic form. Now in terms of b, what it's then asking me to do is to write down the largest possible value of f of theta and state the smallest possible value of theta for which it occurs. Now in terms of this, the maximum, so if I just write down b, so here I've got root 13 sine theta minus 56.3. Well, the biggest that this could ever be is going to be 1. So let me just use a different color. So the biggest, the maximum, is when this equals positive 1. And when it does equal positive 1, that's going to give me a maximum value of root 13 times 1, which is just root 13. Now, to when it occurs, well, for when it occurs, let's just write, so it occurs when, and it's sine theta minus 56.3 is equal to positive 1. So now what I need to do to find the value of theta, or the smallest possible value of theta, positive value of theta I should say, is to then go on and solve this. So here I've got that theta minus 56.3 is going to be equal to the inverse sine or arc sine of 1. And that's going to be when sine is going to be 90. Now I don't need to find the other angles because I'm looking for the largest possible value and that's going to be 90. So then to find theta all I then need to do is do 90 plus 56.3 which gives me a theta value of 146.3 degrees and that's to one decimal place. And there we go. So now let's have a look at our second question. Now this second question might look a little bit strange to you simply because then we've got no indication on what harmonic form we want. Do we want r sine theta minus alpha or plus alpha, or are we using r cos theta minus alpha? Now, for this, it doesn't really matter which one we choose. We can actually use either. Now, just because we use sine in the previous example, I'm going to opt for using cos. Now, again, it doesn't really matter. It should give us the exact same answer. So the first thing we need to do is get it into harmonic form. Now again, it doesn't really give me an indication, but again, the fact that this rings a bell means that I'm going to have to do something with it. So again, go for the shorthand version, that tan theta equals, and it's going to be 4 over 3. So theta equals, uh, it's going to be 53.1 degrees to 1 dp. And r squared equals 3 squared plus 4 squared, so r equals 5. So writing in harmonic form, what I've got is I've got that that expression is going to equal 5, and it's going to be cos theta minus 53.1 degrees. Now it's always worth just paying attention on this, that if you are using the cos, make sure the symbol at this stage is the opposite of the symbol that's in the original expression. Because when you expand this, what you're wanting is your expression, the double uh, compound angle formula, to have the same sign as this. Sign, it's always the same, but with cos, it's always the opposite. So just be mindful of that. So now let me just get rid of this. So I've just got a bit more space. So once I've got this in this form, so that's what that equals. And now I'm going to work out what the minimum value is going to be. Now in terms of this, because I'm wanting the minimum value, so the minimum value is basically when this sine part or the cos part of this part is going to be equal to, so minimum value when cos theta minus 53.1 is equal to minus 1. So when that is, I'm going to have 5 times minus 1. So the minimum value is not going to be square root, so I don't know why I've written that, is going to equal minus 5. And it's always worth highlighting it. Now its minimum is going to be when cos theta minus 53.1 degrees is equal to minus 1. So then working through that, what I then need to do is then know that theta minus 53.1 is going to be equal to the inverse cos of minus 1 or our 
x cos whichever you prefer so theta minus 53.1 is going to be equal to so I'm looking at the cos graph we're looking at where it's minus 1 so cos graph looks something like this so it's minus 1 there and it's minus 1 there so it's going to be minus 1 at plus or minus 180 now I'm going to write this out long because I need to work out what theta is so I'm going to write minus 180 and 180 but then I need to find out what theta is so what I'm going to do is just add 53.1 to each of those so if I add 53.1 I get 126.9 degrees and 233.1 degrees now looking at the range it's telling me that theta is between minus 180 and 180 so therefore I'm going to discount this one because this is outside the range and it's always worth just being careful of that would you still write 233.1 yes I would but I would emphasize that this is the only valid answer whether it be in a separate line or you see that I've crossed out the previous answer but I've also taken it into account when writing this and it's always just worth just making sure that your answers are highlighted in some form so it's easy for the person to mark your work